hosted by Brad Riggler, sorry, most of the indie comedy scene. Here are the fucking names. Show, uh, what, what, okay, yeah, welcome back to Sidewalk Talk Show uh, again. Uh, we're, we're sitting uh, down uh, outside uh, on the sidewalk as always. Uh, we're at the, uh, the Checkered Flag Tavern here in Speedway, Indiana, yeah. not far from the Indianapolis Motor Speedway. Uh, we're, we're here uh, for Roast War Championship Series War Drums, the first, the first uh, Roast War uh, uh, event of 2021. It's gonna be really. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna be in there. We're gonna be doing uh, in-depth analysis of all the roasters. We're Insane. gonna be getting. Uh, we're hopefully we're gonna be getting some. Uh, ho hopefully getting some interviews with the uh, the roast the roast people the people that are roasting each other. Uh, also, uh, we're gonna be get, uh, moving our way through the crowd. We're gonna do some crowd work tonight. Try and get try and get some interviews with some people in the crowd. Uh, it's gonna be a lot of fun. It's gonna be a huge event. Uh, I'm, I, I I'm pumped. Uh, I, so yeah, let's let's go ahead and get that uh, monologue out of the way there. Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah, fuck, uh, uh, yeah, uh, this, uh, this, this roast war thing is, uh, weird. Trent, are you on the ticket tonight? I'm not on the ticket. He's just here. He's just here. Trent, funniest man in Indiana, allegedly. Uh, what, 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 how, 
How, how do you how do you feel about about Rose for That's a good one, yeah. How do you feel about Roast Wars War Draw 2? Who do you think is going to win some Roast tonight? Who are you looking for on the card tonight? Who's your favorite? Uh, I think Griffin's going to win. Uh, I think Patrick's going to win. Who else? I'd say that too if I was fucking my sister. Uh, oh, right, here we go now. Uh, Sandra, we'll go first. Ladies first. So here we begin. Bellkeeper. Red corner? 
or do you think? I'm going to say red. <laughs> Live here, live, live here. Oh, Tony Tony yeah, they, what, what the fuck is going on here? What the fuck just happened, Tony? Um, I think the crowd knew that Sandra's a cutter and needed this win. I think that's what happened. How do you feel about looking like a main character in a real section of City Crossover? That would be awesome. Do you know anyone in Hollywood? Because I, I can write better than both of those if bitches. If I knew anything in Hollywood, I would not be doing the sidewalk talk show. I know. It's overrated. I've been there. It is. The sidewalk talk show is overrated. <laughs> All right, Sidewalk Talk Show live on location. We're here with Peter Rose. He's about to go into a, to an insane bout with uh, you're running against Griffin. Yes, sir. How do you, how, how, how do you, what's your approach to this? What's your approach to this tonight? I mean, very mean and unprofessional. Very mean and unprofessional. Yeah, he says. Yes, yes, All yes, right. Yeah. Uh, you feel you feel good. You feel comfortable. How do you feel? Are you loose right now? Two beers in. Two beers in. Two shots. He's ready to go. Two beers in. Two shots. He's ready to go. All right. Anything to say to Griffin before you go into this match? You got your chance right now. Call him out. Hey, fuck you, man. Fuck you, Griffin. <laughs> All right. We're going to let you know. We're going to see how it goes. Are you ready? Hey, Mr. Bellkeeper, ring the bell. One, two, three. Roast battle. P-Rez's wife has had more dirty white dudes in her than the U.S. Capitol building. Pires has got a great beard. I like his beard. Who cares if it's only there to cover up herpes? Okay, Alright, Pat, first cut. It's Pires' turn. Ladies and gentlemen, keep the peace. This guy, Griffin, he actually has a sister. No big deal there. All of us have sisters. But she's actually dating a guy named Trent Mabry, a comedian we all know. Pretty cool guy. They're actually both here tonight. Griffin is really excited about this because now he has somebody else to blame the pregnancy on. <laughs> But it sucks because that job was the Boys and Girls Club. <laughs> Tony, your sister is so hot, yet you look like you boxed as a toddler. <laughs> look at them ears. Anyway, I'm going to go with Griffin, believe it or not. No, 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 Griffin. Griffin, Lisa, who did you pick? I personally think it was a tie. Okay, a tie. Okay. It's a tie.
and Shira, stand, we're standing, we're standing right now, but Griffin, Shira, Sidewalk Talk Show, uh, how do you feel about your battle? I think it's very much like that. Uh, the cameraman's getting me the fuck out, I gotta be honest. Uh, his, his wrists are in a weird position. Uh, we're, 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 we're crammed up next to a dartboard right now, so that's fine. Uh, but, uh, but yeah, uh, so, so how, 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 do you feel about, how do you feel about 2021? How do you feel about comedy and his current state? How do you feel about Joe Biden? How do you feel about global warming? How, how do you feel about the children in Africa? How do you feel about the children behind cages at the border? How, how do you feel about things? I don't. Come. Uh, anyway, uh, how, how, how do you feel about... Uh, it, uh, what, uh, what do you feel at all? Do you feel? Uh, I don't jerk off much anymore. <laughs> Uh, no, yeah, because right. of the microphone. Yeah, 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 it's hard. Okay, well, since we're just boom mic over here, get a fucking opinion. Yeah, uh, boom mic. Uh, boom boom, boom mic is also the This is a very low budget yeah, yeah, show. Yeah, yeah. Right, right, right. Don't get no camera time. Yeah, yeah. This is my time. Yeah. I'm the man. We, we usually don't. What's
Sitting down with Sarah Huntington. Sarah, you just won. You just won in two rounds. How do you feel right now? How do you feel? Uh, it feels about right. You know, uh, I think he had really, really good jokes. Actually, I was a little shocked that I won. I mean, I think I had great jokes too, but um, his seemed just as good. So I was surprised it was that. I thought it was going to be closer. Well, hello, everybody. I want you all to know my opponent, Dara James. <laughs> He doesn't even have a last name. He has no middle or end, just like all of your jokes. <laughs> Jesus Christ, Peter, this is like no woman will fuck you. <laughs> Peter is so fat and so pudgy, and he suffers from low testosterone, which means nothing on his body is hard. <laughs> Peter lives a sad life. He's got a nine inch cock, but not enough testosterone to make it hard. Here's two sentences that Peter has never heard in his life. Hey, Peter, that was a funny joke, and oh my God, Peter, that was the best sex I've ever had. <laughs> Derek James is a man about the cougars, but I can assure you the only cougar he could pull tonight is over there on the wall. <laughs> Christ, Peter, you're such a lumpy bastard. You have the sex appeal of a bowl of potato salad. <laughs> Peter, Peter is six foot five, he's white, and he has a beard, and no woman will fuck him. Shouldn't you be off storming a capital somewhere? <laughs> Bobby's. Bobby's. I believe this guy is tall, 
always laying together, arms don't work. It's like Frankenstein with a peanut allergy. Seriously, how many how many times have you been chased out of a neighborhood with a pitchfork? Seven. Bob East, if you were a Star Wars character, you would be five Job of the Huts, fucking six Job of the Huts. So I can fucking your mom, is what you're saying. Absolutely. I feel bad uh, for Steve. Go back making fun of him. I was always told you're not supposed to make fun of people that are brain damaged. He has a genetic condition. It's called Generations of Inbreeding. Unanimous Stephen Riley! Thank you, Bobby. Take your knees. Hey, check it out. We got one speed match and then your main event. Do we feel like we're going to tell you about the You know, I'm a big fan. It's off to a great start. You know, all the people that I support are rushing the Capitol, burning shit down. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, it's great. I couldn't be more happy. Let's get that guy out of office, the balance ring. Hillary's a lizard. I don't know. Yeah, you know, that's. That's, uh, these are the real issues that people care about. Oh, yeah. And we need to get to the bottom of uh, who stole this election. Yep. Who the fuck stole this election? Uh, uh, I'll just... George is so vain, he subscribes to his own OnlyFans account. Josh, you're like one of those weird shaved house cats. A bald pussy. No, seriously, it's, it's great to see Josh here tonight. It's awesome to see what the Make a Wish Foundation is doing for AIDS patients. On Josh's 13th birthday, he inhaled helium at his birthday party, and his voice never changed back. <laughs> Josh, from your orgasms to your balding to your taste in men, everything about you is premature. Josh Bennett here. How do you feel about your match tonight? Uh, uh, what, what, George, George, George was a little bitch, wasn't he? Uh, he, he, my, he clapped my cheeks fair and square, man. It's just it's what it is. It is what it is. We're going to have fucking two or three more of these, and then it's culminating at Roastamania, where a champion shall be crowned. Because I'm watching us speaking to our old friend Jonathan Davis, leeching our corn. Sorry, it is Patrick. It's still Patrick Murray. Uh, a local comedian here in Indianapolis about to, about to go up for his bout about versus Tyson Cox. How do you feel about that? He says, I don't know. He says, he, says he doesn't know and it's kind of cool. The Lord comes with me and it's all leading to this. Welcome to the stage, your main event, Mr. The Dead Dancing Bear. This is Patrick Murray. Patrick Murray. For those of you who don't have a GED, uh, it means he's a cuck, right? Uh, Tyson is such a beta cuck bitch, uh, he's his own wife's side bitch. Uh, uh, Pepper, you had a good year, Pat. Tap out, tap out, tap out. Oh. Okay. Uh, yeah, let's go. Yeah, Pepper, you had a good year. Pat Murray, he dropped an album, he dropped some ass. I call them the Bad Knees Bears. Uh, uh, never before has a house smelled so much like pussy and yet no one's getting any. <laughs> Steve Jobs ate LSD and invented Apple. <laughs> Pat Murray ate LSD 
and is afraid of apples. <laughs>
sit, we're sitting down with, with Mr. Jeff Goldberg. We are sitting down with our standing yeah, and, 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 and his cockroach uh, uh, puppet thing. Jesus what? Christ, I don't need a microphone too, it's him. <laughs> Jackasses, you got two microphones. What are you doing? Testing one, two, testing one, two, this is bullshit. All so, right, what do you want? So, Jeff, you're, you're a comic here in the Midwest. You're, you're a judge on tonight's uh, Russ Warren. Yes, yes, the legal. How do you, 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 you feel about tonight's Russ? Who's your favorite? Who, 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 who is standing out tonight? I think tonight's Russ went uh, okay. No, the microphone goes to him. Okay. <laughs> Come on, get your shit together. Okay. But that, and his comics, what was your favorite comic? Oh, yes. Um, I was a big fan of Stephen Riley and uh, Tyson Cox. Tyson Cox. So, uh, give, it, give us a quick in-depth analysis of, of your decision making tonight. Uh, what, what was going through your head during, during the final event there? Like, uh, who do you really think took the upper edge there in the third round of the final match there? Well, you know, when you think about it, I like, uh, I got a, hey, dude, move that down. Okay, thank you. I got a pretty face. I don't, I don't want to cover. Championships here with us tonight, Mr. Brad Riggler. Brad Riggler, everybody. Brad, Brad Riggler is, is, is some. Brad Riggler, if you if you, if you uh, know Indianapolis comedy, you know Brad Riggler, and uh, he he is he's the proprietor of the Roast War Championship Series. He's responsible for all this. He he built this from the ground up. He is the man. Mr. Brad Riggler, explain yourself. Hey, absolutely. Roast War Championships, baby. It's like UFC for comics. We got a steel cage. You get in the steel cage, and we do it, run it like a fight. We run it like a fight. It's not like a, it's also like most roast battles are like tournaments. And I'm like, fuck all that. I want these guys to have weeks to write for one person. So it's one-off battles, and that's it. Just like you would go to a fight, you know? You go and you watch them. And we also, because the rounds, we have ring car girls come in from Club Rio just so we can kind of, you know, make sure I don't get confused as to what round we're in, you know, just to help out. And, yeah. Yeah. No, uh, Club Rio, 
The best strip club <laughs> in Indianapolis. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. That's right. I know. They're very pro comedy too. They're, they're, they're very pro comedy. comedy. Unlike those other strip clubs. They're, they're, they do the things that you hope strip clubs do. Yes. <laughs> now they have been the death of comics. Larry Larry George, who passed away in 2020. Peace, Larry George. He died um, as a result of having fun there. But I think that that really is why most people. I, that that to me is just like go there, find out. Yeah. Like true crime and shit. Like get to the bottom like, of it. You, get to you, the bottom. They they say Las Vegas has the best strip clubs. They say Atlanta has the best strip clubs. If you have not been to an Indianapolis strip club, continue going to Vegas. <laughs> yeah, yeah. If you've not been there, you probably don't have HPV, but that's... Uh, so anyway, uh, no, that's nice. Uh, Did you guys have fun tonight or we, what, man? Th this, yeah. this has been an incredible show. Uh, man, I gotta say, Brad, uh, you, you know how to promote a show, yeah. you know how to put on a show, you know how to dress up a show. Yeah. This, this has been a show. So tell me, Brad, who was your favorite roaster tonight? Who who really who really surprised you? Who brought it to Well, I, I'll tell you what. I started off. I think the best. The first the first battle was just sick. It was uh, Sandra Edgel, uh, the Queen of Mean, versus Tony Foxworthy, and I was shocked because I thought Tony won it. I thought Tony was going to win it, but uh, Sandra Edgel shocked the world. And I tell you this. I mean, like I said, I would not have had that outcome. Uh, but it's not up to me. It's up to the people. I, like I said, you come out. I don't pick the winners. They do. And the people, I think they it barely edged it. I was like, okay, fuck it. She won. And she did. So they were great right from the start. The main event was good. Um, I was pumped about seeing Tyson Cox uh, really coming up. Sarah D. Huntington shocked me. Um, when yeah, she she, really good she did really well. I mean, side. and then uh, that was cool. I was shocked, and I'm still like flabbergasted. Uh, not that Griffin won, but that he won in two and stuff. Yeah, I, I was looking for that match. It was a great match. A little disappointing. It only went two rounds. I was, I was super surprised. Now listen, Perez. I, I'm gonna announce it here. Perez has officially. Uh, filed a grievance and a complaint because, and this is fair, uh, his mic was turned down uh, for that battle. So he actually had a lower volume and that could have caused the audience not to respond as well or the, even the judges be able to hear him as well. And because of that we are going to look into making it a no contest but we don't want to take that away from Griffin. Uh, I think it's going to stay the way it is. I think it's going to it's going to wind up if if the committee chooses to, it'll remove the loss from um, it'll remove the loss from P Res, but not the win from Griffin, if that means anything. Yeah. Um, because Griffin, there's just no taking it away. So you know, Steve, they, it was amazing. Do yeah. you think they're going to meet again, have a rematch? I, I I think that you know that's up to P Res, that's up to Griffin. Shira is on the move right now. He's moved on the move in stand up. He's on the move in this thing. Only person to ever run into problems with was Devon, um, and uh, that's the bottom line. So I, I think the the golden boy is back, and I think uh, you know Perez is going to be one of these guys you got to watch though, dude. You can, he can beat anybody any night, um, and just like you can beat anybody any night, you can get beat any night. At the RWC, it can happen to anybody. Hold on, somebody's dying. Suddenly, I'm more important in sidewalk talk shows. Yeah. <laughs> Fucking All right. no considerate. Uh, yeah. That's why we like Bloomington. So, yeah, uh, Indi yeah, second time being up in Indy has been great. Uh, so, Will you guys come back? Yeah, oh, we'll, we'll be back. We're, we're gonna, I think we're, we're going to be covering all things comedy in Indianapolis yeah. for, for a while now. Roast War Championships, Someone definitely going to be back. We're gonna recover yeah, that. definitely going to be back at Roast War Championships. Uh, uh, Brad, Fucking phenomenal thing you've started here. We love it. Uh, uh, the public loves it. Uh, this is a, this is a hit. This is a fucking hit. I, we roast war championship series. Been one of the funniest things I've been watching the last couple of years. It's been fucking great. Hey, at Roast War Champs on uh, Facebook. Hey, my boys, Sidewalk Talk Show, man. Love you guys. Love you Thank too, you, Brad, man. for coming out. Woo! Back to more roast. More. For the most part, it was a great entertainment venue. Love seeing comedians come in here, let them hash it out, let them battle it out. Um, you know, as far as entertainment value, we love it. We love being here. We love seeing them. We love 
anytime, any place, anywhere. Hell yeah, hell yeah. Uh, who's your favorite comedian tonight? Uh, uh, me. <laughs> okay, I didn't hear you the whole time. <laughs> But we don't we don't know the fucking name. It, it's, been, it's been fun here. It's been fun here at Sidewalk Talk Show. Uh, we're, we're at Rust Wars. It's 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 uh it's, it's, it's the end it's the end of the episode.